Hi, my name is Tom Sider from Pano Pro and I'm here to demonstrate how easy it is to take your own virtual tours using our all-in-one virtual tour package. Included in the package you've got your camera stand, camera bag, of course the Pano Pro lens, the necessary Canon adapters, Canon G10 with a spare battery and a 4GB memory card. Now simply attach the unit onto your tripod stand. Raise up the lens, turn the camera on and you're ready to go. In the next section I'll show you how best to take a virtual tour in a room. The best place to set your tripod up is in the middle of the room for a virtual tour. And get it all set up nice and square. Now when I take the virtual tour photo I don't want to be in the shop so I've got the timer set up on the camera so I'm going to take the shot and then I'm going to exit the room when the time is going on. You can hear when that camera's taking the photograph as the beeping stops. Now obviously I can just pick up the whole unit and move to another room and repeat the process and obviously I can do as many rooms as I want because it's not going to be paying a photographer to do it for me. Once I've done that, I've got my virtual tour stored on the camera. Let me take the unit off. Then I can plug the unit into uh, a laptop and in the next section, I'll tell you how easy it is to get your virtual tour online. So this is our Pano Publisher software that comes free with the Pano Pro lens. Now first I'm going to show you the simple way to get your virtual tour online and then I'm going to go a bit more in depth into the features that the Pano Publisher has. So first I'm going to select add files, there's the photo you just saw me take in the lounge, then I'm going to add another five photos that I took one in the kitchen, I took two in the garden, I took one in the bedroom and one in the dining room making it six photos for six virtual tours. There's all my images there. I'm now going to select that, which means process more than one image at a time. I then select next step. Now it's going through and processing each individual image automatically and then saving the process virtual tour image to my hard drive. Now with that file, I can then go and upload that to a property portal or on my own website as it's in a standard virtual tour format of equi rectangular. Now there is another way rather than uploading that file which is a bit more simple that you can just press our share icon here and then upload the files directly to to our internet site. So here there's our six images that have already been that have just we just processed I've selected those. I'm now going to group them into a gallery for the internet, which I'm going to call Henley, which is where that property was. I'm now going to select Upload Saved Image. And you'll see now it's going through and uploading each one so it can be accessed directly on the internet. Now once it's done this uploading process on the, along the bottom here, you'll see it will generate us a link here which we can then go and directly email to our customers and they can click on that link and use it directly it's the virtual tour is displayed in flash which almost every user will have I think the stats are about 99% of people now have flash so they won't need to download any additional software Okay, it's just going along and it's nearly finished uploading the images now. There we go, it's finished. Now here's my link, which you can also see directly beneath this video window. And you can try it yourself and see what um, virtual tour it has created. And obviously I can do things like just click on that button to copy the link. And with that I can go and copy it straight into an email to send to somebody.
and away that email can go then the user is just going to click on that link at the other end and they'll be able to view the virtual tour right in the next section now go into the individual options you've got for the pen and publisher So now I'm going to go a bit more in depth into the individual features of the Pano Publisher. I'm going to start by just taking that one photograph. You just saw me taking the lounge. Uh, there's my one photograph. I'm not going to select that this time because it's only one image. I'll select next step. And you can see here the software has automatically worked out where the mirror is in the photograph and drawn some boundaries around the mirror. Um, so occasionally this will get this wrong if you've got a very dark ceiling and you might need to just uh, move the circles about with your mouse pointer but it gets it right 90% of the time I'm going to press next step and I'll, here I can alter my brightness settings, my contrast I usually tend to give it a little bit of contrast Things looking fine. I can go to the next step. Here I'm usually like to give it a little bit of sharpen, and you've got noise reduction as well here. That's sharpen up the image nicely. I can now hit preview, and there's my virtual tour already created, which is all looking very good. So now that I like the look of my virtual tour, and I'm going to go into the final save section where we've got equi rectangular. Panorama, which is uh, basically a rectangular style JPEG that can be played in just about any viewer available on the internet. You've got six cube faces and cube strip, which is uh, a format used by Flash Panorama Player. And you've got probably the most standard uh, Flash Player format of QTVR Movie, which can be played by most Flash players and is fast becoming quite a standard format. So I can now go ahead and save that image. And that's it. The process is done. We've created our own virtual tour.